Hello, I'm Neil DeFranco with Alfont with Sikkim Realtors, and this is the first video in my new buyer series. So you're ready to buy a house. Looking at listings online and going to open houses do not put you in the market to buy a house unless they're combined with a couple other things. Buying a house is different from any purchase you've ever made. Houses are unique, even in developments, even with new constructions where houses are built to the same specifications, they're still unique. You can't put a house in a shopping cart. You can't return a house if it doesn't fit or if you decide you don't like it. Houses are expensive. You can't put them on your credit card. And there's a significant amount of closing costs on top of the agreed upon price that you don't recuperate if you decide it was a bad decision and want to turn around and sell it in a short period of time. A couple ways to tell if you're really in the market to buy a house. One, you don't think you can afford one. You know you can afford the house. So what does this mean? Well, you've sat down with your local bank, you've gone to your credit union, or you have a mortgage originator that you like, and they've looked at your credit history, they've looked at your employment, and they've given you a pre-qualification or a pre-approval saying you can afford such and such priced house, or you can afford this monthly payment. And there's a difference between how much house you can afford and how much monthly payment you can afford, because depending where you are, taxes are gonna be different, Maybe you're looking at a condo or a homeowners association which tax, tax on an additional monthly payment that you have to consider. But the bottom line is, if you haven't done this, if you haven't become pre-approved or pre-qualified, you're really not in the market to buy a house. You're really in the market to buy a house when you're no longer window shopping. You've interviewed a couple of agents, you understand the concept of agency, and you found an agent that you believe will best protect your interests, and make the process as smooth and convenient as practical. Having a contract with your buyer's agent is very important as it protects your interests. This is a legal and ethical relationship of trust. This is how you know that your buyer's agent is working for you. As with having that pre-approval up front, having an agent when you find your house is important as it allows you to make an offer and purchase that property once you find the right property. Uh, putting an offer is not the time for questions, it's the time for actions. Otherwise, you might miss an opportunity, especially in the competitive market when other buyers are ready to go when they find the house. You're really in the market to buy a house when you're not playing games with your credit. You're not buying a new car, you're not opening new credit cards, you're not skipping your monthly payments, uh, and you're not co-signing a loan for someone else. And lastly, you're really in the market to buy a house when you're maintaining and building your savings. Do you need a buyer's agent? Call me when you're ready. Feel free to leave a comment. I'm available by text, telephone, or email, and I'm online at realtorneal.com. Thanks for watching today. Have a good one.